When you open up a logic project, the first thing you'll see will be this main window area. And that's the case whether you're using an LCBC template or one of Logic's templates or their empty project. So just so you know this video, we're still going to be using this LCBC template for most of it. And the download link for that is a Dropbox link in the YouTube description below. Here's the main window area of a more finished project. So this is where all your music goes onto these individual tracks. So let me select a few here. This is a bass sound. This is a drum loop. Here's a piano sound. So your MIDI and audio track data, these boxes or rectangles or strips, these are called regions. And we're going to arrange them in order according to when we want them to be played back from left to right. So when I press play, the music is going to start from this long line or what's called the playhead position. And I can change this position by placing the playhead with my mouse or trackpad by clicking in this thin strip or ruler area. And I can also move the playhead backwards one measure at a time by pressing on my computer keyboard the comma key or moving it forward one measure at a time by pressing the period key. Well, here's a bit of this played back from this position in the middle of the song. And what I'm then going to do is then solo and then unsolo this piano part here so that you can further understand what I'm talking about, which is that what we have is called a multi-track environment where we have control over one track, one sound, one instrument at a time, and that we then have the ability to mix all the tracks together to create a full mix. You'll also do your recording of MIDI and audio into these track areas and be able to edit those created regions such as moving them, cutting and pasting them, deleting them, and also importing other audio or MIDI files into the track areas. You're going to be spending most of your time in the main window here while you're working with a Logic project. I want to show you how to zoom in and out in the main window and Logic has a great uh, feature for this. It's called their magnifying glass. So if you go to your computer keyboard and you hold down control and option at the same time, your mouse pointer is gonna turn into uh, a magnifying glass icon. You're just gonna click and drag over an area that you wanna zoom, let go, and it's gonna zoom into that area. So super cool. Could press control and option again and click anywhere on the screen and it's going to take you back to the previous zoom level. You can also use these uh, little sliders up here, vertical zoom and horizontal zoom. You can also use key commands for this. So if you would hold down command and use your up and down arrows for vertical zoom and right to left arrows for horizontal zoom. <laughs> 